And with thousands of new cases diagnosed day after day, another big concern is falling behind in contact tracing. Health officials are having a tough time keeping up with the trail of exposure right now. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell is live tonight with the challenges they are facing. Alan. Well, Carolyn, Dave, there are several different issues that are really slowing down this process. One, of course, is reaching out and trying to track down these people to get the word out. The other is people not answering their phone when the health department calls. The more delay we can get in getting the information, the more we are delayed in reaching out to everybody. With positive COVID-19 cases continuing to be in the thousands, health officials say it's becoming increasingly difficult for contact tracers. With several straight weeks of over 5,000 newly identified cases per day, this surge is surpassing our ability to perform timely outreach to all people who test positive. There are a few key issues making it difficult for contact tracers. One is following up with all the contacts who may have been exposed. Depending on how active that person has been, whether you need to call four people or you need to call 20 people, the bigger the circle is, the more it puts a burden on following up with all those contacts. The second is when we call someone and just like any of us, your, your first reaction, you see a, a, a unfamiliar number on your phone, your first reaction is not to answer it. So that means we have to call back or send a text message that says this is the health department we're trying to reach you. As we prepare for cases to continue to be in the thousands daily, contact tracers are now more than ever ready to handle the influx. We are expecting an uptake in the cases and again we are preparing for that both logistically and in preparedness and in everything that we're doing. Now, according to health officials, the ideal time frame to do a case investigation is 24 hours. Then the following 24 to 48 hours after that, that is for contact tracing. So obviously a lot of work to be done to get the message out. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. And Alan, we thank you for the live report.